How's it going YouTube? It's RJ here and in this video I'm actually going to be showing off um, the pop figures I got from New York Comic Con 2017. I didn't attend the actual Comic Con unfortunately because you know um, money's a thing and it's always going to be a thing but I ended up getting the very last thing from New York Comic Con that I got during the Comic Con period like the during the three days and it finally shipped to me. I am getting one more from the Comic Con as of right now that's getting shipped at the moment but I didn't get it while the Comic Con hype was going on and I got it like just yesterday I ordered it but that's the um Norman Bates the black and white one from FYE even though it's an FYE and New York Comic Con exclusive which was weird but um yeah that's all that I'm going to ramble on about I just want to show you guys the stuff that I ended up picking up uh, the first thing I want to show you is the only pop that isn't New York Comic Con related that I got during New York Comic Con. Um, I was lucky enough that they actually got a shipment of the um, Jack Torrance Chase, the Jack Torrance Pops, and I ended up picking up the Jack Torrance Chase. Now, this is a really cool one. This is the second one that I got. I ended up si shipping the second one that I had. I mean, the first one that I had, I ended up shipping that one away, so that way I could get it in a trade for... A wacky wobbler prototype which is actually really cool so I'll put this in for you guys to check out as well um, I ended up picking up the getting the Greg Hefley wacky wobbler prototype which honestly looks really nice um if I get it all in frame it's a really nice looking prototype and it's my only prototype so it's I'm really happy to have it and since I already had a second one I didn't need two chases of it in my collection now, we're going to get into the actual pops that I got from New York Comic Con. So the first place I hit up was Barnes & Noble's because the number one, okay, number one and number two, it's like, inter, it's interchangeable with me. But the number one most excited one I was about was the Black Chrome Batman, which I ended up being able to pick up. Now, I'm really happy with this. Um, It was kind of a horror story at first. Because I was in line, I was number five in line, and then there were a whole bunch of people behind me. And then we saw them start to unship them, unbox them, and they started taking the black chrome Batmans and putting them behind the register for people who had online orders get sent to the store. Now, I think that's really stupid. Like, extremely stupid. Because this is a um, convention, you let the customers get it first. Now, they had a rule where you could get only two of the same one, and since I was number five, I was actually able to pick up two, but I ended up not taking the second one, and I gave it away to a little kid who he was there hunting for his own pop, so I let him take that, even though it was probably, because he was with his mother, and the mom was more determined to get the pop rather than the kid, so... I don't know if that was the best decision for me to make, but um, I could have gotten two, but I just decided to get one. But I'm really happy with it. It is really nice. And since I can't get the blue chrome one, because that one's way too expensive, uh, I'm going to be extremely happy with just this one. Next up, I went to Hot Topic. Hot Topic had a lot of stuff. Um, I, had, I actually went there two different days. Um, the very first day of Comic-Con where they got released, and then the second day. Oh yeah, and then another quick story while at Barnes & Noble's, um, there was a guy who um, wanted a Grindelwald, and he ended up picking up one that had the bottom of it completely destroyed, but he didn't notice, and I let him know. So um, yeah, if you guys are pop hunting and with other people, be respectful and like, you know, help out the community. Don't like, kind of like let things go unnoticed, because a lot of people are inbox collectors like me. So don't let that stuff go unnoticed. Just help out other people. That's my big thing on it. So now at Hot Topic, I ended up picking up two... Let me see. How many did I end up picking up the first day? I know the first day I ended up picking up this guy. All right, let me get him on camera for you guys to see. I ended up picking up a Dragon Zord. Now, this is really cool. I'm really happy with the Dragon Zord. It's a six inch, super nice, and, and it sold out pretty quickly. 
But, um, I'm not the only person who wanted a Dragon Zord. If you guys know me from my Pokemon content, then you guys know Louis Escobedo, and he is, like, honestly the best person ever. So, he, um, want, wanted a Dragon Zord, so I picked up two. So, yes, I have two Dragon Zords. One's his, one's mine. Uh, he just needs to let me know where his new address is so I can go ship it to him. But, yeah, I have it set up for him. But it's such a really good looking pop. I will give you that. It's super cool. I wasn't actually thinking about picking this up at first. I was going to just get it for him. But then I was like, if I don't get it now, will I regret it later? And then I talked to another person. Oh, and my phone fell. It's fine. Talked to another person. He's like, yeah, you should probably get it now before it like sells out. So yeah, that was a big one from Comic-Con that I ended up getting literally. So let me go and try to put the other guys back up on here. But yeah, um, I picked that up the first day. And then what else did I pick up the first day? All right, I'm um, looking around, trying to see exactly what there was. Uh, then I ended up going to GameStop to pick up two pops particularly. Because um, I wasn't very sure about this series, if you guys already know what I'm talking about. It's that 8-bit, so 8-bit pops, they're still kind of like, you know, new to me and new to everyone. People still have differing opinions on it. In my opinion, I really like the 8-bits, kind of, kind of. It's interesting in design, but I don't really want too many of them because I don't need too many of them. I am happy with this Batman one. Uh, if there's a black one, maybe I'll pick it up, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm happy with this one, but it's really heavy for what it is. I think you've heard it from other people that it's extremely heavy. The cape looks really nice from that back from what I've seen from out of box collectors. But yeah, that's a little back to it. It's number one in the series and I'm okay with the eight bits. They're all right, but um, I think they could be gimmicky. You need to make the right ones. I do like the alien one that's coming out and the exclusive Jason, but I want to be careful with what I put in my collection just because I don't want to put too many especially being that it's still not it's not really it's a pop but it's weird so you guys understand that the other one that I got from GameStop that day was the 11 with electrodes now um Stranger Things season 2 just hit yesterday um what was it last night or two nights ago two nights ago and I still haven't gotten a chance to watch it because I've been busy with work but I got the um, 11 with electrodes. Looks really nice. I think the, I think it's a little off the box. I never looked inside of it, honestly. But um, all my boxes are actually really nice. And then you can see right here, you got the back from the Season 2. I mean, I'm um, Series 2. Uh, wave 2, Wave 2. But yeah, it's a really nice looking pop. She's really cool. And I ended up picking that up because I want to get all the Stranger Things pops. I'm working slowly to get all of them because I still got to get a lot of the commons. Next we have, uh, what happened next? Um, then I went back to go pick up the rest of everything else because I wasn't able to hit up Toys R Us. I wasn't able to get everything just because money was running a bit low at that point. But the last thing from that day specifically, this is still the first day. I went and ordered online on the Funko shop. The Pennywise with wig. Now, this guy was difficult to find. You can't find him anywhere ever. And since he released him on the Funko shop, I was extremely happy to get him. Because he was literally one of the last ones I needed for the collection. I'm going to try to back that up for you guys to see better. But yeah, he was a difficult find, but I'm happy that I ended up picking him up. And then if you look at the back... You got him, and then you got little baby Georgie, which this is such a cool pop. I'm really happy he's in my collection, as I am with all the all the pops that I got in this. Then um, I went back to GameStop and um, GameStop and Hot Topic and Toys R Us because Toys R Us didn't get their pops in at that time. So very first place I went to was Games. I mean Hot Top. Ah, what was it? Toys R Us, just to pick up the Superman, because Superman is 
honestly the only other one from DC that I wanted, honestly. Because um they have the dwarves, which which they aren't dwarves aren't my number one thing that I want. Getting the pops are cool. And then this is the from the very first Superman comic, and I really like the pop, so I ended up picking him up. But a um I kinda got suckered into it because I really was like, you know what? There's not much from the DC line. Let me go pick up the Dorbs 3 pack as well. Now, as you can see, it's um the Riddler where he looks like the Chase version. You got the Pharaoh, King T well, he's King Tut, and then you got Mr. Freeze, the <laughs> orange haired Mr. Freeze. But um this is really cool. I don't have too many Dorbs. I have like I think maybe ten in total and it's literally just to fill up space on my little wall pop figures. But um, I'm really happy that I ended up picking this up because they do look pretty decent. Um, and here you go from the back view of them. It looks really nice, so I'm happy that I ended up being able to pick this up. But this was literally, there was only one Superman and one of these door packs. So I was happy that I was able to pick them up. Next, I went back to GameStop to see if they had anything that I wanted. And they still had the Old Man Logan, so I picked him up because I really do like Old Man Logan. It's just that money was low, and I wanted to pick up my DC ones first, the ones that I actually wanted in my collection first. And then I was going to go pick up the other ones because I don't have much of a Marvel collection. But I ended up picking up Old Man Logan, and then going back up to my Hot Topic, I picked up the Grandmaster. And these were the only other pops that I honestly cared for. Um, my father ended up picking up the Old Man Logan Dorbs, so... That's in his collection, but yeah, that was pretty cool. This is everything pop-wise that I got from in-store. This was the very last thing I got pop-wise. But the final thing that I want to show off to you guys was the last thing I ended up getting. But um, before I show that off, um, my father ended up picking up the gravel slug from the Funko pop-up shop, and he picked up Lucky from there as well. So he got those, and he ended up getting a Speedy. And the number one pop I wanted was James Gunn. And I was like, you know what? Let me go and try to see if I can get Speedy as well. If I can get Speedy and get James Gunn, I'll be happy. James Gunn was impossible to get. Almost impossible. Now, of course, there are some people, but I think he sold out in like eight seconds. And I wish I had gotten him because um, if you guys don't know, I'm trying to direct films and do all that. And it would have been nice to go get him signed. But then I was like, you know, what? I want to try to get the NYCC one and the NYCC Freddy and the Speedy. Didn't get the Freddy, but I did end up getting the Speedy. So he is limited to 3,500 pieces. Uh, he looks really nice. I'm not going to lie. He's extremely cool looking. I am planning to eventually get a James Gunn. But here you go with the um, back of the box. It has all the ones from Duck Dodgers. Which was a cool show. I really liked the show. Um, if you guys don't remember. If you guys were not old enough to watch it. It's a good watch. I would recommend it. It was pretty funny. You got Daffy Duck. And he's literally a space ranger. Kind of. He's like. He's in this, He's in space. And he beats Martians I think. I don't remember the show. Actually now, now I'm thinking about it. I remember loving it as a kid. I just can't remember a single thing about it. But yes. I do have the Speedy. Really cool pop. Um, there's not much I can say about it. But yeah, that's about it for this video. All in all, I ended up picking up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 things from New York Comic Con. So that was a pretty decent haul. Everything was like $15 to $25 each. So spent quite a bit of money, but I was really happy with my pulls. Uh, like I said, I'm getting the Norman Bates in the black and white one. And I am getting the... Uh, what is it? I will be getting James Gunn in the future. I would love to get him. So I'm going to try my best to go and find him at a reasonable price. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And I will see you guys next time with more Funko products, um, Pokemon products. So yeah, until then, YouTube, goodbye.